When good people die and are reanimated, there's only one man who's their best friend. That's Stone and Blow. No zombies too much for me to handle. I help out zombies and I train people. That's why they call me Zombie Whisper. The world is wrought with misconceptions about zombies. Tony Malone is here to set the record straight. Thanks for coming out, Tony. I appreciate it. I'm a long time watcher, first time caller. What can I do for you? Well, you know, after the fall of society, I was feeling pretty good. You know, I got my criminal record wiped. You know, all my debt was clean. I was running a subjectively successful business on the side, selling uh, post-apocalyptic moonshine out of recycled urine. Everything was going well until our brewery got attacked by a horde of walkers. A horde came out of nowhere. It's the craziest thing I ever saw. Uh, I started working with an organization back in North Jersey that uh, we'd fight walkers. We'd train them, suit them up. People place their bets and they fight to the, well, you know. I'm not here to judge you. Please, continue. Well, everything was going pretty good. I got my baby sister a gig. Uh, she's the only surviving member of my family. And she's a big fan of yours, by the way. My familia. Yeah. Well, uh, we're a good team. You know, I train them how to fight. She take care of them, feed them brains, whatever. Eventually, she got bitten. My wife Janine got bit shortly after we got married. Putting her down was the hardest thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, well, uh, I didn't know what to do after that. Uh, the people I was working for, they wanted me to fight her. I don't know, what are you supposed to do when your baby sister turns into a bloodthirsty monster? You know, they don't teach you that in juvie. No, you call Tony Malone. On the day she was supposed to fight, I ended up having a falling out with my employers. Uh, it escalated violently, and uh, I ended up rescuing a couple more walkers. They just fight all day, all night, be really loud. It's a lot of unwanted attention, huh? Yeah. Thought I had to put them down, and uh, I just couldn't do it. It was like I almost saw some of myself in them. Yeah, that sounds stupid, but... No. I deal with it all the time. Let's go see what you got, huh? Careful. Something's not right here. Zombies in the wild never fight against each other. They're a pack animal. I do like their armor, though. I sell similar armaments at my website, www.zombiewhisperertv.com. Go there and put in the special promo code Tony sent me. You get 10% off. You say they've been like this since you bought them home? There's your problem. What the f is that? Brains. They were sewing inside the chest cavities. I knew there was something wrong with these zombies when I first saw them. These zombies in the wild, they don't fight against each other. So. With these uh, brains removed, there might be hope for these little guys. But it's gonna take a lot of work, all right? It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna take a montage.
Show me a zombie posture. <gasps> <clears throat> Good posture, you're the Alpha. I met the Dalai Lama. I studied with him. He's the one that showed me this. Some people call it the Buddhist palm. I call it the brainwash. Use the brainwash, now! Now that's a magic moment. If Bob Barker and, and, and Robert De Niro had a baby, that baby would be Tony Malone. Hey, Samantha. Where's your posture? It's okay. It's okay. She's not your sister anymore, Rex. Rex! I got this, Tony! You know how much gas I use on that damn montage? Today, you witness the harsh reality of the work I do. In these unnatural times, there are dire consequences. And while today's actions may have been avoidable, it is not our job to wallow in the past or to dwell on our failings. Rather, we should learn from our darkest moments and move forward into the light. Go, be free, keep your family close. Unless they're undead, then not so close. Thanks for watching. Tony Malone, signing out. Brains.